Hey, what's up guys? Growing the Hobby coming back to you guys with another Turn Back Tuesday break. A little bit of a special one though today, part of the High Rollers week. Uh, I was going to originally bypass doing the Turn Back Tuesday week this week with all the High Rollers stuff we have going on this week, but I decided, you know what? We got a product that has insane potential. It's going to take a heck of a lot of luck to actually get it, but we have a chance. We're going, that's right, for the 1952 Tops Minky Mantle rookie card. That's right, because we're going to be doing one of these boxes of 2019 Vintage Cards Treasures. That's right, guys. Awesome background cards. You can check them out very quickly here. Left to right, my 55 uh, PSA 4 Sandy Koufax rookie card. Center stage, my 1948 Leaf Babe Ruth PSA 2. And on the right side, my also 1955 Tops PSA 3 Roberto Clemente rookie card. That's right, guys, though. This is what it's about today. Um, really cool product. Uh, I scooped this up recently. I've done this, I think, one other time on this channel, this, this exact box, that is. Uh, it's a 2019 uh, limited edition series of only 25,000 boxes. This is a repacked box. Um, and I'll show you guys all the stuff on here. And I'm going to get the uh, kind of cellophane out of our way so we can cut that glare down. And we'll talk more about this box. I'll show you guys a little bit more. Uh, of it and you know we'll talk about it we'll get into breaking this uh, and hopefully pull some really really cool stuff out of this box today all right so our glare is gone set that over there all right so the deal with this uh this is vintage cards treasures like i said guys it's the greatest vintage baseball card search ever the big chase cards in here there are not one but two 1952 mickey mantle rookie cards in here uh pictured obviously center stage right there in the box that would be just insane i mean i don't even need to really touch on that do i guys that's just crazy um you'd have to have some serious luck to pull it they made twenty five thousand of these boxes as you guys can see right there on the label this is box number 3274 of twenty five thousand. so you have roughly a one in twelve thousand five hundred chance of pulling uh the man rookie but uh you're gonna get one hall of famer or all-star player in every single pack uh one hall of famer autograph or relic in every box normally it's a relic um you know these are some of the great cards that you can find in there that are pictured just some awesome awesome rookies and some really good hall of famers and stuff like that really good vintage cards these are all original cards in here each pack has 10 original tops baseball cards from 1952 to 1991 in every pack um so you know 15 packs in this box 150 cards total roughly that we're going to be getting these are all like i said it's a repack box but the big thing that really drew me into this this is 2019 it's not 2021 now you guys know that the kind of boom in the hobby uh, across all sports not just baseball but the boom in the hobby really kicked in um you know 2020 2021 late 2019 and the prices on everything just went through the roof so my point is the cards that they may have packed in here in 2019 you know, maybe they, I don't have a clue what we're going to pull out of here, but let's just say we pull a $100 card out of here in 2019. Well, that same $100 card when they packed this in 2019 could now with today's prices be, you know, a thousand plus dollar card. So there is a real potential of pulling something mammoth in here. I really hope that we do. Uh, it's going to take a lot of luck. I know this, but obviously the Mickey Mail would just be, my God, the hit of a lifetime. Uh, I will show you guys the back of this box as well. I'm not going to really get into too much. It tells you slightly a little bit about the odds, but not much. If you want to pause it and check that out, be my guest. It gives you some of the examples there of what you can pull. And ironically, that 55 Clemente is indeed side by side. It's a little bit blurred with the background card, but there you go. And there you go. That's the actual card right there. So that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, really cool stuff. I do love this product. Let's just get into this. Check this out. We'll use a little bit of caution with this. This might be a little bit of a longer break. I'm going to try not to make it too, too long, but you know, the, you're taking a really really wide range in years here so it's going to take a little bit uh to go through these and stuff like that plus you want to use careful you know care and stuff like that and i will tell you guys from past experience with these packs this is how it looks basically like the box just a smaller version obviously uh with these packs they're very hard to open i noticed the packing is is almost impossible and i don't want to damage the card so what i've been doing when i open anything like this normally kind of make sure the cards are down at one end of the pack I get a nice pair of handy scissors and i just cut it right at the top uh, that is, of course, if the scissors cooperate. And these ones are, of course, not. Let me let me pause this. Get another pair of scissors, guys. Hang on one second. All right, guys, we're back with some reliable scissors. I hope. Let's try these. Oh, there we go. That's better. All right. All right, much better, guys. So that's how we do it. We cut the top off, slide them out, 
see what we have in here. I mean, most of this stuff, you know, it's not going to be too, too vintage. It's going to be a lot of junk wax era stuff, but there are some definite cool hits that we can find in here. We'll see what we do. We've got a nice Kirby Puckett All-Star card there. Tom Brookins. Very, very nice. This is so cool, like, just strolling down memory lane here. Roger Freed. Hey, there's a nice Dennis Eckersley. like that card a lot in the uh, 85 design. You guys can check that out for yourself there. Very cool. Very cool card. David Green. There's a nice uh, 74 Milt May. Pretty cool. Hey, look at that. Oh, that's a nice card, guys. I like that. 1983 Howitz card. I've actually never seen this card um, in my life, but a nice uh, superstar is Johnny Bench, Gaylord Perry, and Carl Yastrzemski. It's pretty cool. It's, a, it's got a little bit of kind of lines like you guys see there and stuff like that, but not a bad card. I'll show you guys the back of that if you want to check it out from 84 Tops. And you guys can see the condition of these cards are very, very nice. Um, you know, they, they, they really do a great job. With repacking these cards, you know, you, you might think you might get crap, but, you you know, the, the card condition is really, really commendable. Omar Vizquel, rookie right there. Nice Tom Seaver. Beautiful there in the 79 design. Nice Tom Seaver. I'll show you guys the back of that. Obviously not a rookie, but nonetheless very cool. 79 Tom Seaver. And then we got a uh, an 81 Wayne Garland right there to finish. Or I'm sorry, 82. 82 Wayne Garland to uh, finish that pack off. So not bad there, not a bad start. Really, really cool opening this stuff. Uh, like I said, it's just such a cool thing. I actually just missed out on a 2014 box of this. They wanted, I don't know, I think it was like 150 more than this. I think I paid like, what, what did I pay for this? Like, oh my gosh, 250 or 280 bucks or something like that was the cost of this box. Uh, you know, not originally, but now, um, you know, when I paid for it. The other box would have been really cool to get, obviously, 2014. The better chance at even maybe something bigger. But uh, there we go. Nice Willie Hernandez. Very, 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 very cool there in the 1980 design right there. There's an 87 Steve uh, Lombardozzi. You can always tell the 87s with that kind of wood grain. Hey, there's a nice Rod Carew. Beautiful looking card there. That's an all-star uh, card. Show you guys the back of that 78 Rod Carew. Pretty cool. Barry Foot, Tom Prince for the Buckos. Pat Dobson in the 74 design. Not 74 design, in the 74 card. That's It's weird. I'm so used to doing, like, you know, heritage archives, things like that. Uh, that you know, it's it's weird pulling the actual, you know, the real deal cards here. There's a nice 86 Tom Seaver. Uh, Rich Dower. Mark Wagner in the 79. And a nice... Daryl Strawberry, very nice, uh, in the 85. Daryl Strawberry. Really, really cool. I like that card a lot. All right. Next up, pack number three. Well, like I said, guys, I apologize if this is a little bit of a longer break, but uh, it can be tedious. But the cards are just so cool. you got to give them a little bit of due respect and... Oh, jeez. I don't think I cut that one deep enough. you got to give them a little bit of respect and, uh, you know, kind of individually check out each card, you know. And everything I've noticed from uh, these these boxes, like I said, I've opened a few of these. Uh, everything I've noticed from these, they do kind of give you maybe, like, one sort of really decent hit that stands out over the other cards, like a nice rookie of somebody. So, you know, hopefully that's the case in this box. Uh, Dave Haverlo. Uh, Hey, there's a nice Mark McGuire, and that's in the uh, 91 design right there. Four years of baseball. There you go. John Henry Johnson in the 79 design there. Oscar Gamble. Really, really cool. I love this. These get older and older. And look at that Tony Gwynn right there in the 86. That's very nice. 86 Tony Gwynn. And look at that. There we go. There's an old school one. Heck yeah, for my Buckos, no less. I like that a lot. Bill Verdon, outfielder for the Buckos. Look at it. He's got actual uh, actual glasses and stuff before they got like the designer stuff nowadays, obviously, you guys see everywhere. Uh, pull that around here for everybody to see. And look at that beautiful 1961 Tops Bill Verdon. Really, really neat. I like that card a lot. That'll definitely go to the old PC. 
Set that aside right there. Alfredo Griffin right behind there. And hey, there's a nice Pete Rose. Pete Rose in the 84 design. Pretty neat. You guys know he's definitely should be a Hall of Famer, but he's not because of the gambling issues and stuff like that. Jack Heideman. And our last card. Nice Dwight Doc Gooden to end that pack off in the 88 design. Pretty cool. So we got our first uh, kind of really, really old school card there, that 61. I mean, all these are kind of old school, but, you know, it's really, really cool when you pull stuff from, like, the 60s and 50s. You know, I'd like to get uh, maybe one or two 1950s cards in here would be great. Uh, obviously, the mantle would be great, but uh, I'm not going to hold my breath for that. Uh, Tim Hollett in the 86 design starts us off. Another Tony Gwynn. Uh, that'll be the 88. Uh, there, look at that, guys. Jim Boschamp, uh right there for the Braves. That is seriously old school. So uh, this is great, guys. 1967. Really, really nice. I like this stuff a lot. This is so cool. Pulling these vintage cards. I know it's a repack, but, I mean, you still get that same feeling that, you know, you're pulling something really, really packed fresh and stuff. And there's a nice Nolan Ryan in 1990 design right there. Very nice card. Bobby Thompson in the 79 design. Willie uh, Montanez. Another bucket of there. Nice record breaker there. Ozzy Smith in the 81 design right there. Raleigh Fingers. That's right. And his powerful, powerful mustache. Pretty cool. Mickey Hatcher. And, yep, that is the last card in that pack. So, like I said, guys, stay tuned this whole week for the, uh, if you didn't catch yesterday's video, we did the Boombox Elite Baseball Box. Um, high Rollers Week this week. Just crazy products we're breaking. This might be the one and only time we do the High Rollers Week. Uh, we got Definitive Collection coming up for baseball still. We got, uh, if you like basketball, we got a 2021 Prism Basketball hobby box, jumbo hobby box, and we also have the cup for this year's, uh, well, this year's cup for hockey, uh, if you're interested in that as well. So Rick Miller starts us off in this pack. We got a nice Jack Clark, nice 75 Jack Brohammer. Really, really nice right there. Mike Schmidt, very cool, as usual, in the uh, 85 design. I like Mike Schmidt a lot. There's a nice... Future Stars rookie card here of Glenn Brummer, uh, Luis De Leon, and Gene Roof. Very cool. Nice Mickey Scott. You guys can check out the back of that. I guess the ones that we don't frequently is, you know, get as much. I think that might be our first 77, or maybe we got maybe one or two, but uh, I don't think I showed you guys the back of any of the 77. So there's the back of the 77 Mickey Scott. Jason Thompson. We got. Oh, there we go. Jose Canseco, that's right. In the 86 traded, that's going to be his rookie card. Really, really nice right there. Very, very nice. So that's uh, our new number one card, at least as far as I'm, well, maybe not as far as I'm concerned. Actually, I like these vintage cards even better than that. Uh, sometimes it's not about the value. Bump Wills in our last card. Oh, look at that. Nice Eddie Murray right there. Beautiful card there uh, in that same 1984 design. You guys can see the back of that if you want but really cool all right next up and that 86 design guys if you're wondering the uh you can get the barry bonds rookie card but it's in the uh, tops traded in 86 it's not in the regular 86 tops so you'd have to get a traded card like that but that was a traded uh set there for that conseco Paul Mitchell starts us off in this one in 87. Nice Rafael Palmero, Future Stars card. That's a pretty cool-looking card there. Uh, you can find Barry Bonds, Rookie, and Bo Jackson in uh, this kind of wood design. That's probably the best two normally you can find in that. Mark Lee, 79. You want a different Padre there, obviously. Dan Cuisenberry, very nice. Heck of a player there for sure. Willie uh, Wilson, I was going to say Willie Nelson. Willie Wilson there in that 86 design. And there's a nice Tom... Underwood, Ricky Henderson all-star card there. Really cool. Hey, look at that. Ken Griffey. You know, I don't even know why I get so excited like that, but uh, it's Ken Griffey Sr. The thing behind it, though, that's going to be 1968, I want to say, off the top of my head. I'm not positive. But uh, that's Ken Griffey Sr., obviously, guys, not Jr., but uh, we got a 19, I believe, 68. Fred Valentine for your senators how about that guys you'll you'll recognize this card design 
Uh, as you can see, that Johnny Bench here at the end, but a 19, 1968 tops. That card design is famous for the Nolan Ryan uh, kind of combo rookie card there, uh, which, you know, obviously that would be sick. I believe you can find those in these boxes, but uh, obviously that's not it. But that's a really cool vintage card. And then there's that Johnny Bench that uh, we were just showing you guys here a second ago from the 83 top set. So pretty cool. All right, guys, moving right along. Let's see what we have in this pack. I don't even know how many packs in we are at this point. Like I said, it's a lot of a lot of cards, a lot of packs to get through. I might even pick up the pace a little bit. I'll definitely slow down if we get like really old school stuff or you know any kind of really gigantic rookie. Mickey Klutz starts us off. Vern Cool. There's a nice 78 uh, design there of Raleigh Fingers and Bill Campbell, leading fireman uh, for your pitchers. That's that's a pretty cool card. Jerry Narron. Roger McDowell. There's a 75 Mickey Rivers. 86 Bo Jackson. Beautiful, guys. 86 Bo Jackson. That'll be a rookie. Yep, absolutely in the traded set. Very, very nice. We got a Bo Jackson rookie quarter. That's right. Bo knows baseball. One of his favorite uh, famous sayings back in the day. Thad Bosley. Jeff Zahn. And, oh, look at that, guys. How about that? Wade Boggs. 85 Wade Boggs. Really, really nice. Sweet stuff. All right. So now you can see why this is such a fun kind of product to rip. Uh, you know, like I said, I know it's a repack thing, but you still get that feeling that, like, you know, you're pulling these pack fresh. And, I mean, you sort of are in a way. All right. So Terry Harper starts us off in this pack. Hey, Kent to Colby. Uh, Bucko's kind of. Play caller and stuff like that. Does a lot of local stuff here for the Buckos and stuff. Kent Teak, as they call him here. 74 Cecil Upshaw. Carlton Fisk. There's a really nice uh, card right there. Very nice Carlton Fisk. Dennis Lamp. Larry Heil. We've got an 86 Phil Necro. Heck yeah. Look at, my gosh. Look at Phil in that picture. Hell of a picture, guys. So don't get me wrong. Any, you know, what a player. And honestly, a great guy. I met him a few times and got some autographs and stuff like that off him. But holy crap. Literally looks like he's like 70 years old in that. That's just wild stuff. That's not something you see every day. Len Whitehouse. Ooh, nice Reggie Jackson in the 79 design. All-star card there. Beautiful looking. And Junior Kennedy finishes off in that pack. All right. Make sure those cards are done because, boy, I would hate to uh, accidentally cut one of the cards. Good thing is I'm not coming anywhere near him on any of these cuts. We're taking our time. I want to make sure I keep that Mickey Mantle rookie card nice and pristine when I pull that here uh, in a couple of packs. <laughs> All right, here we go. We start with an 86, Dave Van Gorder. Looks like we're on our 68 maybe here. Uh, it's not going to be a landscape card, so it's not a rookie combo. It won't be that Nolan Ryan, but let's see what we have. Pirates leaders card there. I actually have. remember pulling that card as a kid. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, Joe's Deb, or Zeb, I'm sorry, yeah, <laughs> the Royals, Gary Carter, I'm really anxious to get to this 68 card here, Bill Bath, Tommy Aaron, look at that card, my gosh, that would have been, man, can you imagine Hank Aaron, Tommy Aaron for the Braves, it's pretty cool, it was close guys, I mean, it was close, you know, he is the younger brother of Hank Aaron, as you guys can see. That would have been just insane to pull a Hank Aaron sort of pack fresh out of here in the 68. But uh, really cool card nonetheless. Dave Winfield. In action card there, Daryl Porter. Larry uh, Bittner. Hey, there we go. Randy Johnson rookie card right there in the 89. Very nice. And that's the traded. So uh, Randy Johnson rookie card. We're doing pretty decent with... Uh, some of the rookies today. That's pretty cool. I have several of those already. But uh, that one, the centering actually wasn't too bad. I don't think it was perfect by any means. It looked like it was maybe a little bit off left to right. But uh, the ones I currently have of that are quite a bit off in centering. So that one will probably stay in the PC for sure. There you go. Moose Haas. Can't go wrong with a name like Moose. I mean, come on. Uh, 90 Adam Peterson. Ooh, look at that. Old school again. Rick Mundy. Really, really nice there for the A's, the athletics there in the 69 design. You guys can check that out on the back if you want to pause and read about him. 
That's pretty cool. Ooh, look at that Kirby Puckett. Very nice. And the 86 design as well. You can check that out there. Ted Simmons. Home Run Leaders, 1979. Well, that's the 78. Home Run Leaders is 79 design, though. Jim Rice and uh, George Foster. Dave uh, Weirmeister. Paul Mahler. That's pretty doggone cool. That's that's really close to his rookie. I, so I know that it lists, uh, you know, that he's played there for two years in the majors. But uh, honestly, guys, uh, this one's slipping me. He's a big player, obviously, uh, quite a guy. But this might be his rookie card. I don't know why I'm thinking that's his rookie off the top of my head. I'm not positive. I'm really not. Um, it's maybe one of those ones that came around after he played a couple years that they put out his card. But I'm really not sure. Paul Molitor is not one that I'm 100% on his exact rookie card. But uh, nonetheless, we'll set that aside and look into that a little bit more here afterwards. Leave that up. Jim Fregossi. And last but not least, a Bob Fortune, the 87 design there. All right, getting down towards the uh, bottom here, guys. I think we have maybe six packs. It looks like five or six packs. I'm not exactly sure. Still looking for an auto or a relic hit. Normally, I think in all the other ones, I pulled a relic. It's been pretty wild because, like, you're, you go from really old school stuff, and the relics I pulled are normally, like, from, I don't even know, like 2004, 2007, something like that. It's, it doesn't really follow the uh, the suit with the 52 to 91 cards that they say, but, uh, you know, whatever. Let's see what we have. John Littlefield. There's a nice Jim Palmer. Steve Rogers. Dennis Powell. Hoskin Powell. A couple of pals back-to-back. -back. 79, Gary Carter. That's pretty cool. I like that card a lot. You guys can check that out. Try and get that glare off for you. Dwayne Walker. 86, Bob Rogers. A 74, Mike Marshall. And a Donnie Baseball, Don Mattingly. All-star card there from, uh, I believe that's 1988. Yep, 1988 right there. Pretty cool. Uh, and let's see. I'm just going to pull the rest of these out. Move that box to the side. Four packs to go, guys. One of these, like I said, should have an autograph or a relic. An autograph would be really cool, but uh, like I said, most times it's a relic. But I don't care. Like I said, I'm here for the Mickey Mantle. Oh, this is going to be our hit, actually. You guys can see. I'll get that to focus real quick and just show you what I'm seeing. There we go. There's your thick card in the middle. And it's probably going to be a relic. I'm not going to hold this for the end. We'll just do it right now. All right, so Steve Stone starts us off. Dave Winfield, Mike Alum, 86 of Mark Davis, and then the hit of the box, it's Kansas City, ooh, hey, that's a cool card, guys, you know what, let me set this down, let's appreciate that card for a sec, that is a cool, wow, that is really, really nice card, actually, that is not the normal kind of crud that I expect a lot of times, that's one, wow, Topps Tribute. George Brett, authentic game used bat. That is so cool. Jersey number right there in the center of that bat. Jersey number five was retired by the Kansas City Royals. This is in honor of George Brett. And uh, what is that from? 2001. Tops tribute. Wow. That's a really cool card, though, in all honesty. That, uh, I'm okay with that being our uh, kind of box hit there with the, the auto relic. That's a really neat card like that one a lot. I will be holding on to that one for sure. All right, let's see what we have in the rest of this pack as we pick these back up. So Terry Kennedy, as we get a little bit of focus here. Sometimes it gets a little bit rough with... Sorry about that, Sandy, but I'm going to cover you up. These older cards in the background, I don't know why, but they kind of screw with the focus of the camera. Newer cards don't, but vintage ones do. I've noticed that. Uh, Terry Kennedy, Matt Alexander, Mike Schmidt, all-star card there, and Kurt Wilkerson. Final three packs. Let's hope for something big. Let's get 1950-something. I, I don't even care who it is, what year, you know, any of that stuff. Let's just get a 1950-something card, huh? Because it's just it's so cool to just hold those vintage cards in your hand and stuff like that and check it out. I've had some luck with pulling some cards from the 50s out of these before, but uh, we'll have to see today. I think we're upside down. All right. So we've got an Astros uh, team card here with Bill Verdon as the manager there. You guys can clearly see that. Ooh, nice Ken Griffey Jr. Really nice there in the 91. 
uh, is pretty cool. Very, very nice. Gail Hopkins in the 74 design. We got a Jason Thompson there. Mike Moore, 79 Jamie uh, Easterlies. A nice 87 Kirby Puckett. You guys can check out the back of that as well. Very early on in his career. Uh, John Aquisto. John De Aquisto, that is. Don Sutton, there we go. Very nice. Uh, that is a nice card there, actually. I like that one a lot. That's going to go directly to my PC there from 77. Um, I know it's nothing, you know, insane and stuff as far as, like, a rookie or anything goes. And obviously, it's terribly miscut uh, there. But that's a cool card because I actually pulled his autograph out of uh, uh, clearly authentic. And, uh, you know, obviously, rest in peace now, Don Sutton. That's a really cool card there. Dave Van Gorder, last card in that pack. All right, two packs to go. Hoping for a little bit of luck to finish this off. This was a fun break, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Try to get my hands on some more of this stuff for sure and keep my eye out for when these pop up. Grant Jackson for the Buccos there. George uh, Capuzello. There's a nice old school one right there. Kent Boswell. That is a really cool 69 because that's his uh, rookie cup card right there. Ken Boswell, very, very nice rookie cup card there. Very cool. Robin Yount in the 85. Dave Rossello. Rudy May in the uh, 78 design. You guys know that's fairly famous for the, uh, I guess it's the first time I'll flip that over, for the Eddie Murray rookie card there. But, uh, yeah, there's that. Manager card there of John McNamara. Look at that uh, kind of Angels thing there. You don't see that every day, the state of California. With Angels written through it, that's pretty cool. 87, Roger Clemens. Also pretty cool. Nice Tom Buskey. And last but not least, the 91, Jeff Bagwell. Uh, and that's actually, it's from the trade set. That's going to be a rookie card right there. Nice Jeff Bagwell rookie card there out of uh, 91 tops traded. Really nice. So, done pretty good with, uh, I guess, newer, air quotes with that, newer uh, rookie cards and stuff that are featured in here. We've got some... Pretty decent rookies out of this today. I'm sure I missed maybe one or two. I always miss one or two here with cards just being all over the place throughout the years and stuff like that. But uh, let's get some last pack mojo here, shall we? We saved the uh, Mickey Mantle rookie for the last pack, obviously. So Rennie Stinnett. 81, uh, or I'm sorry, 91 Scott Bankhead. Oh, there's an old school too as well. That Jim uh, Willoughby. You guys can see that as we got a 70, uh, or I'm sorry, 87 behind there. But that's... Not sure if I even showed you guys the 76 one yet, but uh, there you go. Robin Yount in that 87. Tom Bergmeier. Nice old school Pat uh, Zachary. Fernando Gonzalez. Oh! <laughs> oh, baby. Let's come back to that in a second, guys. Oh! <laughs> Last pack mojo indeed. Dave <laughs> Verlo. And a nice Jim Rice in the 84 design to finish this off. Oh, baby. Oh, look at that. If you can believe it, I have such a great collection, guys. But believe it or not, I, this is the first one of these I've ever gotten. And, and you know what, guys? Honestly, I mean, maybe top to bottom, the centering's a little bit off. Left to right, it's pretty good. The you know, edges, corners, all that stuff looks actually really good on this card. Mark McGuire, USA Baseball rookie card. Heck, yeah. Let's go. 84 United States Baseball Team, Mark McGuire, first base. That's an iconic card there for sure. I have never in my life pulled that card, or I don't, I don't own that card. I mean, it's the first time I've got it there. From 85 tops, what a pull. Oh, man, that's so awesome. That's so awesome. Wow. That is a monster pull for, for my PC, and I mean in general. It really is, guys. I mean, I'm going to show you guys. That Mark McGuire, that's awesome. Let me show you guys the other cards I kind of set aside here. I'm going to do a very super quick recap because I know this is already going to be a 30-minute video, but nice Jeff Bagwell rookie. That Paul Molitor, I believe, is uh, possibly the rookie. The Randy Johnson rookie. Bo Jackson rookie and Jose Canseco rookie there. The, actually, I'll show you guys the one auto RL card that we're guaranteed here. That awesome George Brett. I, that's a beautiful card there. Game used bat from uh, 2001 Tribute. Really cool stuff, and then the, the kind of old-school stuff that I really set aside here that I like a heck of a lot. Nice Ken Boswell, uh, Rick Monday. Those 68 cards are just insane. That Tommy Aaron, I mean, that's so close to 
my gosh, I thought that was Hank Aaron. And I, oh, man, that would have been so cool. Fred Valentine, Jim Bosham, and Bill Verdon. And uh, that is just so cool. That Bill Verdon, I believe, is the oldest card of the day that we pulled there from 1961. What a break, though, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the break as much as me. Please do me a favor. Like, subscribe, share. Click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more on them coming to you guys. As always, uh, in the description below, you guys can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Uh, please stay tuned for the rest of this week and for the, you know, for the future. Honestly, guys, if you're new to the channel, uh, it's great to be up here. A thousand subs right around there. Um, you know, and, and this high rollers week is really kind of like a little celebration and stuff with it in a way. Uh, really, really cool stuff. I'll definitely be trying to get my hands on more of this in the future. Keep bringing you guys great breaks. But, uh, and stay tuned, like I said, the rest of the week. Really, really insane pools guaranteed to be coming up this week. Uh, so, yeah. Other than that, have a great day, a great night wherever you're all at, and we will see you next time.